Hello guys, my name is Annie. I hope you all have a great day so far. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm doing DIY sewing. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to see new video every day. This is coming, which is also known as Lunar New Year holiday in Vietnam. It's a score at the early of February and lasts for 3 days. Vietnamese people often welcome New Year with many blessings and wearing the new and beautiful clothes for these days. And I want to dress in a distinct outfit to see my family and friends on the first day of New Year. That's a reason why I made this set for myself, as you can see right now, and sharing with you guys how to make it. This set consists of jackets, skirt, and long sleeve t shirt So I'm going to divide them into three parts. And part one, this episode today will be jackets. Okay, let's get started. I'm using this fabric for this set in blue and yellow. I love the color and the texture of fabric when I saw it at the fabric store and decided to take it immediately. Really nice. For one part, I beat up the polyester fabric in turquoise. I refer to some samples on Pinterest to get some ideas for this project. There are so many beautiful and tortured sets make me overwhelmed. But after all, I decided to make it a pine collar jacket with two pockets and mini skirt. Like always, I don't want to make this video is too long. Then I already make the pattern here. But it's really details and clear that you can follow. I cut two pieces of front side. From the front pattern, I just trace to another paper to make in back side and add 1.5 cm for the head of shoulder and go down 3.5 cm from shoulder to the raw neckline. Then from the measurement of front and back neckline to make in the color pattern. Here's a or half of color. I divide the color into two parts. For the sleeve, from the measurement of the armhole of front and back side to make in the sleeve. And then I divide the sleeve into two pieces like this. The big one is at front and the small one is back side. Okay, let's cut fabric. I got all of pieces that I need here. Body spots, sleeves, pockets, and from the button. I also cut out the facing and lining, but shorter 3 cm the length of the main part. Before sewing, I already cut some interfacing with 1 cm width and press it on the edge of every single piece to make sure it's not stretchy when sewing. I'm starting with the pockets. 
at the top of pocket, I'm gonna fold fabric 2 cm to the wrong side and press it. Next, I'm using the pie attack to cover the raw fabric, then stitching them in place. For the flap, I'm going to play two pieces with the right side together and sew it around, except the top of it. Then, cut the excess fabric and turn the right side out. And stitch it on top. Now, I'm gonna play the pocket at the position that I want on each front pieces and stitch it. Next, I just pin the flat right above the pocket and stitch it. At the back side, I'm gonna connect two pieces together. For the sleeve, I'm going to sew in two pieces together and then connect side together too. Okay, it's time to connect front and back side together at the shoulder and both sides. Next, I'm going to sew in the sleeve into the armhole. For the lining part, just doing that on like the main part. I'm going to connect facing and lining together. At the front side, I'm going to fold 2 cm to the wrong side and press it. Then, stitching facing and lining together. Moving on to the collar, from a half of collar here, I make a full collar and divide it into two pieces like this. Then, I'll cut two pieces from each panels and press in a thin interfacing on them. Now, I'm gonna connect part 1 and part 2 together. Then, I use my finger to open it up 
and stitching on both sides of the seam. Next, I'm gonna place two panels at the right side together and sew in from here to here. After that, cut the excess fabric and turn the right side out. Now, I'm going to connect the main part and one part together at the bottom line. Then, I just put the lining sleeve onto the main sleeve. And sew in subsidiary color to the main part. Next, I'm going to connect the main collar to the lining part. For this opening part, I just glue it up by sewing. Next step, I'll throw from the bottom to the end of the sleeve, grab the lining and main fabric out. Then, sewing them together. Next, turn them back. And I got the end of the sleeve like this. To make in the bottom of jackets, first I'm gonna turn the facing out and stitching it into the main fabric. And I got it like this after turn it back. Then, I'll pin this position to keep them in place. And I'm going to throw the sleeve lining out and unthread a distance how to enough to throw my hand and grab the bottom out to sew them together.
After finish sewing part top and put it back, I'm gonna close the opening part again by sewing. This jacket is almost done. Now, I just bring it to making buttonhole at the accessory sewing shop and hand stitching the buttons to finish. And here the final look. I'm really happy with it turned out. Really nice, really satisfied. How do you like my jacket idea and season a third day with part two? Mini skirt. Bye!